part of being a photography curator was you never let the photographers tell you that they've shown you all their work. That <laughs> She said, no, because Stephen had sent us. We'd, we'd, we'd call Stephen, let's see all your work, and he'd sent us a very select group of really perfect, immaculate photos. And Pat said, that's not all there is there. You have to go to a studio. You have to go and look at his entire files. So it took quite a bit of persuasion, actually. I really, really had to sort of bully my way into his studio on the East Coast, but that's what I did. So I wound up going to see Stephen. And I think Stephen's still in shock about it, actually. But anyway, <laughs> in Stephen's archives, we found photos like this that had never been published. I thought this was absolutely fantastic. I just, because I thought, we're taking on a daunting and depressing topic in a lot of ways. And I don't want to say we wanted to make it comedic, per se. That would obviously be very inappropriate. But I, but I did want photos that, would, that put, had a surprise element to them. You know, and in this particular case, this was the haunted um, house on Coney Island and following Sandy, 